Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Hope and I am the face of the Cozy Cosm. Today is Sunday and it is my last day of summer vacation. I've been off for the last four weeks. It was wonderful, it went by way too fast and now tomorrow I go back to work. So today is gonna be a productive prep with me Sunday. We'll be doing some meal prepping, getting outfits ready for the week, just all of the things that I need to do to make sure that my first week back at work is a successful one. It is about 11 o'clock this morning and I've been up since eight getting things ready for my husband. He left on a work trip and I was prepping some meals for him and I started on getting some things ready for myself. So before I dive into the rest of my day, let me take you back to this morning when I woke up, show you what I got done and I'll meet you back here. Since my husband's getting ready to go on a work trip, I'm prepping him some lunches. So I've roasted up some potatoes. I just cut up about three really large potatoes and I did a big pot of rice to use for two different meals that I'm going to be making him. For proteins, I have some seasoned beef fajita that I'm gonna put on the grill and just cut up to make some bowls. This is way more than I'm gonna need, so I'll use about half of this as I make his lunches for the week and the rest I'll pop in the freezer. This lemon herb chicken is new, we've not tried it before, but I'm gonna make this for him and it should make about four good sized lunches that he can take with. I'm doing that with the potatoes and then with some green beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these open, get them prepped, get the grill preheated, pop those on so I can start building the bowls for him to take with. Everything has come off the grill and it's ready to go in the bowls and Dali is ready to try and steal a bite. I have the chicken and the beef and I also chopped up some jalapenos that I'm going to add to the bowls. Let's get these things chopped up and added into our meals. The last thing I'm sending my husband off with is some breakfast. He said he just wasn't ready to eat yet, but he wanted this to go. So we just have scrambled eggs, bacon, and then this is a nice thick piece of toast from the homemade bread that I make. All right, now that I've caught you guys up with my morning, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break to eat breakfast before I clean up post meal prep. For breakfast this morning, I have some bacon, a couple of eggs that I've just scrambled up, some strawberries and a piece of homemade bread toasted with some cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. Yum.
guys, it is about two o'clock. I have been lounging for the past two hours doing just about nothing. Um, almost taking a nap, but didn't fall asleep. Um, I just wanted some time to relax because we got up pretty early and I was go, go, go for the first few hours of the day. But now I really need to figure out what all I want to accomplish today in order to feel set up for this week. I did cook some chicken on the grill for myself earlier today when I prepped Richard's meals. So I have two chicken breasts. I know I need to take lunch two days this week because I work at home two days and lunch is provided one day. So I would really like to turn those two things into an actual meal. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna roast or prep a sweet potato that I have on hand and then make some green beans um, to have those. And then I don't really need to prep breakfasts um, for the week and I don't want to have like a specific meal plan a lot of times when Richard's out of town I like to just let myself feel Like what I'm in the mood for each day But I do like to have like a list of a few options particularly this week because it's my first week back at work I know I'm probably gonna be pretty tired. My brain is gonna be pretty fried from all the information each day My brain is gonna be pretty fried from all the information each day I want to make sure that I at least like have some ideas of what I can go to if I get home and I'm just feeling absolutely exhausted. So want to do that. Um, also need to do laundry, change the sheets and pick out my outfits for the week. So those are kind of my four goals, meal prep or prep myself for the week, right? For meals, um, laundry, change the sheets and pick out my clothes. Oh, and also get in a workout because I haven't done that yet and I probably should have done it earlier. Okay, two o'clock, we have a lot to do. Let's go. All right, so I've started two tasks. Well, finished one, started the other. I changed the sheets on the bed and I made the bed. I have one load of laundry in and I have a load uh, waiting to go once that one finishes. And I'm in the process of picking out my outfits for the week. This is one of my tricks that I like to do at the beginning of the week because if I don't pick out my outfits for work at the beginning of the week, I basically end up wearing the same clothes all the time because I just like throw on what's comfortable um, and what's in the clean laundry pile. So I'm picking out some outfits and I really just need three things to wear into work. I'm gonna be in the office on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, and then on Tuesday and Friday, I'm working from home. So just three outfits to pick out. I'm thinking this is what I'm gonna wear on Monday. This is a new top that I got at Ross a couple weeks ago. It's really cute. I love the little um, beading detail on it. And I also love that it kind of gathers here in the front. So it's really flattering and really forgiving, but like it doesn't need to be tucked in. It might need to be ironed a little bit. I had taken it on vacation and um, it was in the suitcase for a long time. And then I'm gonna pair it with some dark jeans. Actually, these have holes in it, so I don't think I'm gonna use these. My other dark jeans are in the wash right now, so I'll probably pair it with that. Let me grab my second outfit for Wednesday. All right, so I have my second outfit for the week. This is gonna be for Wednesday. We have a staff leadership retreat, and so I know we're gonna be like all together in a group setting all day. I'm not gonna be spending a lot of time in my office setting things up, so I wanted to make sure I had something that's cute but comfortable. Um, and am I the only person who picks bottoms usually first before they pick tops? I love these corduroy cigarette pants. They're like a lilac color. They are from The Gap, which is like 60% of my work clothes are from The Gap. Um, so I'm gonna pair those with this cardigan. This I got at Target years ago. It's a little bit faded, but it's super comfortable. And I like it because I can just wear it like buttoned up and I feel like I don't even, you know, really need like an outfit underneath. So I'll just layer it with a tank put on some cute chunky jewelry and that will be Wednesday's outfit. All right, for Thursday, I'm gonna keep things really comfortable, really casual. I have a pair of striped linen pants. I absolutely love these pants. They're like a stretchy top. They have a little tie in the front. Um, they are very light, so I do have to make sure that I'm like wearing light colors with it. Um, or not see-through um, but I'm gonna wear this top and I really like to wear this top and then tuck in in the back um, the bottom layer and so this just kind of like flows over so I'm thinking I'll do that I'll have to bring a cardigan because it's always cold in the office but I'll layer a cardigan on top of this and it'll just be like a very relaxed flowy outfit almost feeling like I'm in leggings but I'm actually in something super cute and super work appropriate so those are my outfits for the week other than my leggings when I work from home
All right, I am back. I just finished working out. I put in my second load of laundry, put the first load in the dryer, and I just heard it go off, so I'm gonna go change that over. And now the only thing I have left to do for today is to prep, figure out my meals, whatever it is that I do. I'm gonna let myself be as detailed or not in terms of like how much I actually get done. I just wanna have ideas for what I'm going to eat for meals for the rest of the week and make sure I have at least a couple of lunches prepped. So let's get started. Okay, y'all, I think that's where I'm gonna end today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me as I get ready to go back to work. Definitely made the day more enjoyable to be filming and bringing y'all along. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna have the pasta bake um, that you will see in another upcoming video that I threw together using mostly leftovers. And after taking a look at everything I have, I know that I have some options for veggie tostadas with some beans and leftover sweet potatoes. I have some options for some really easy quesadillas with uh, turkey or just with the vegetables that I have on hand. And I have a poblano pepper sitting in the produce drawer that I could always use to make a stuffed pepper with some beans and some rice. So definitely thought of some options like I wanted to in terms of what I'm going to do for dinners, but left myself open so that I can be creative as the week goes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video again. Please make sure that you give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.